Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add or how to connect your Shopify store with Google Analytics for GA4. Okay, so let's get started. So this is my Shopify admin for for this theme. Uh, sorry store which you can see this is my dev store which I generally use for demonstration pur purpose on this channel so what I will do I will show you how you can connect to your Shopify store with GA4 so first thing first you must have uh, this GA4 property created so simply go ahead and log in to your analytics click on admin and then create a property okay and then go ahead and select that property from here whatever property you have and then uh, go to data streams okay I already have selected this property to and then go to web so click on it data collection is active in last 48 hours so basically if, if it's not done you'll get something on the very top here and then by clicking that button uh, you can get uh, the code or once you got the code you can paste that in the header or in the footer section of the theme templates the other way is basically you can use this sales channel app google sales channels app which is going to make more sense because what it does it also lists your products on google merchants so first of all go ahead and install it here you can see it says google analytics 4 it's completely free you will have to connect the store and you can then if i disconnect and turn it off i will have to do everything once again and this will display a lot of information here so I don't want to do that so basically you'll have to connect your account first select the right team account that is associated with the Google Analytics account where this property is created and then right here you can select the property from the drop down if I disconnect it you can see it was that done you are almost done once, that, once that's done, you also get an option to list your product on Google Merchant Center, which you can simply click on by uh, which you can start by clicking this Get Started button. Now, if you're doing it manually, what you will do, you will go to Store, Online Store, if you don't want to use Google, Google's Sales Channels or GA4 app. You simply go to this theme and edit code and whatever the code you have from here let me select one which is not working so so we are under data stream I'll select it this is also working all right so let me check it's not okay uh, Maybe this one is not working so okay so under under this particular property go to data stream web doesn't matter if it's on all just select on it and now you can see this is not working so basically you can view tag instructions click on it this will take a bit longer you can see it's, it's saying it's loading so there are two options uh, okay these are okay 
uh, CMSs if you're using one of these Google already has their tools and you can select your CMS and connect but if you don't and you don't want to use any of uh, Google plugin or packages for whatever reason you can click on this install manually copy this or you can use Google Tag Manager to do the same once you've copied it from here you can go to footer you can simply type footer depends what team you are using so if you have footer section go to footer or you can go to templates uh, let me open this first and then I'll just go to templates so now uh, layout sorry layout so go to theme dot liquid and go at the very bottom where you see footer okay so it closes the body but I don't see the footer Oops. you can paste it, the code here but I won't suggest because this will slow down your site so I'll go to footer and somewhere at the very bottom I'll just paste this code right there and save it and this code is not for this particular store but I'll go ahead and show you okay so once it's saved I'll go ahead and preview the store I just pressed F12 and then I'm going to search for peak tag. You can see it's showing here. So once it starts showing up in the footer or header, wherever you want to keep it, uh, Google Analytics will start collecting the data. So this property the Shopify store on my particular dev store is basically linked with oh, Shopify's uh, sorry Google G4 says Channel app that is completely free and freely available to install which also lets you list your products on Google Merchant Center so uh, I think this is how you can hopefully this was helpful for a lot of people and if you have any issue suggestion leave in the comment below also if you have a Shopify store and you're getting sales and you would like to create a dashboard using Shopify reports and Google Analytics I offer services which you can get in touch with me for and this email provided and uh, any any data that you need uh, let's say go to analytics any data from here so i don't have much data like nothing here from here or from google analytics to to create your dashboard i can help with that as well. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks again. Have a good day.